I'm not going to do it. next season for Man United? What, what, like, I know <laughs> it's hard without knowing what signings are coming in. But okay. let's say you finish third ahead of Newcastle this season. Yeah, yep. surely progression is going for a title, right? But you're going to say second. Yes. No, I'm not. I'm not going to say <laughs> second. But again, like I've said, if we get the new owners, that ha- precursor has to exist. I expect us to challenge next year. No, but you're I saying don't... if you get new owners. Yes, if we get new so owners. If you don't get new owners, let's say you don't get new owners and Glazers are still there, where, where, what do you think is progression next season? Let's say you lose to Man City. And you only win the Carabao Cup, which is still a better season than we've had. Yeah, yeah. What is your ambition for next season? So my, okay, so let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me rephrase what I'm about to say. My standards, irrespective of who owns us, are to move on to challenge for the Premier League next year. Challenge. I don't think we'll win it because I don't think we can be as good as City. But that means to be with a much closer on points. I think they're 19 points ahead of us. I want that, I want that cut down to five, six, seven points by the end of the season. Mm. Do I think we can do it if the Glazers stay? No. Because I don't think they'll spend what we need to improve the squad. I don't think they'll allow everything to leave. They'll cut those corners like we've already spoken about. So achieving what I want and my expectations are two different things. So that, that's what it comes down to. So for me, my expectations are one thing. Do I think it's achievable based on who's running my club? They're different conversations. They, they, those two thought processes. But the aim of elite sport is exactly the same, Terry. Yeah. So that, like, just because really there's different thing. metrics put in place for different football clubs, don't change the the aim of elite sport. Yeah. It's like people building up Brighton and this and that. We all know Brighton are going to sell their best players in the summer. They're not going to invest all of that money profit plus the 84 million profit from this summer. Yeah. They're not going to invest all of that plus their TV money that they're going to get another 120 million next season. They're not going to invest all of that no, to actually so, probably try and win. So Lee, I understand that. These metrics that are put in place, your Man United football club, Terry, right. don't lower the standards by saying, I'm oh, not yeah, lowering the standards. whether it's achievable. Your Man United football club. I'm not, lowering, the I'm not lowering the standards. I'll give you an example. What's your expectations for next year? My expectations are to win the title. Yes. Do you think your manager's good enough? No. That, why are you lowering the expectations by saying no? No, no, my, I haven't lowered my expectations for my football club. I've lowered so, so, it for the manager. And if, so, hang on, no, no, no don't. No, 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 no I believe our own. That's not me lowering the standards. Okay, that's no, but you're, you've just said that's your crazy. words. Your expectations are to challenge. Big Man United, you just want to challenge. I'm no, sorry, no. mate. That's the expectations no, lowered. No, no, you said next season, not my overall yeah. forever. Next season, no, I've just asked no. you next season. You should be challenging. You Man United, exactly. challenge. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, challenge, I, yeah? I want. Go and win it, Terry. I, Go I, and I win don't, it. I don't. Yeah, but okay, but you're asking me. I want to win it, but do I think next year will be better than this Man City team? No, I don't. So I'm telling you what I expect based on how good I think we are. I don't think... Do you know, do you know, why, do you know why there's so many fans that don't I can't, think that I, their I, clubs I, I can beat Man I, City? Lee, 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 I can't hold people accountable for a level I don't think they can get to. Not no, because but you don't know. In, in the short no, term. No, but you can we, get there, Terry. No, we, we, we can, but not next season. You said next year specifically. Do you know, do you know why there's so many football clubs in England yeah, that have finished? Yeah, and they, they all cry about Man City. Oh, they've been financial right, exactly. doping. Do you know why? Yeah, oh, we can't compete. Like, I always talk about Real Madrid. The amount of people that can't grasp the concept is mad. Yeah, we, we're not on Madrid's level. Do you know why we're not on Madrid's level? Do you know why we're not on City's level? Do you know why you're not on City's and Madrid's What's that? level? Do you know why? Because the standards are so low, yeah, that second is seen as an achievement. Because over the last 15 to 20 years, both of our clubs have systematically been absolutely destroyed by the standards being lowered and lowered and lowered to the point where if you finish second, you get idiots in the chat and other chats and my chat and other streams sitting there saying, but it's our best season for years. We played great football. It's the best season since Wengler. Who cares? Yeah, the fact is, you are Man United. We're Arsenal Football Club. We're two of the three biggest clubs in England, right? We should be we should be challenging and winning titles. Yeah, That's it. Yeah, so the fact that you're sitting there saying, oh, I just want to be challenging next season, when deep down you know you're not going to, yeah? Is because of all of the fans over the last 15 wrong, years, wrong. all of the PR from the football club over the last 15 years. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't follow my club's PR. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't follow my club's PR. I don't even go on their website. I don't even follow our Twitter account. I don't see any of it. I don't watch the press conferences. I, 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 I participate in zero content from no, my club. No, but you don't. But millions do, but, Terry, but which is low with the standards. Lee, but we're talking about mine and your ideologies, nobody else's. And like I just said, you asked me what I expect next year. 
I expect yep. next year for us to challenge. What mm. I expect by the end of year in the third season, where I think it's completely my manager's squad and he's real built us from the mess we were in, then I will be expecting us to go on and challenge for the title. The difference between you and I is that you expect to win the title. You expected to win the title after finishing eighth, which is, I get you want to win it, but the likelihood of you achieving it is different. So all I'm doing is tapering my expectations. I know it's going to take my club a period of time to catch this Manchester City team and to be as good as them. Some are saying it's the greatest English team of all time. If you're up against the greatest team from England of all time... They won the league of 85 points. Hang on a minute. Please let me finish. Right? If, if people are saying it's the greatest English team of all time, and Man United, when this manager inherited us, just had our worst season in 40 years, it's ridiculous to have the expectation for that manager to turn it around inside 12 months, inside 18 months. It's going to take you time right. to get there. That doesn't mean that I don't want progression and I don't have the overarching expectation of getting back to the top. But you're never going to, like we are trying to make the point earlier, I'm going to get back into shape. I want, I've want. i got a target weight of about 30 and a half stone, certain weight, certain inches. I don't really do with weight. It's more about inches on my stomach and stuff. I am not at 37 going to be able to get down to that weight as quickly as I did when I was 20, 21 years of age. It's going to take me time. I can't get like the, the best, the best. Okay, so, so no, I, I, get get that. Me, I get that. I, I get I, that. Let me, please let me finish. I'm not going to be able to get into that shape like the 21-year-old kid that's in, in my gym mm. and he's in great shape. It's going to take me time. So my expectations are to get there, but my expectations now have to be spread over a longer period based on the circumstances that I'm in. So it isn't about lowering standards, Lee. It's about being realistic about how you get to them. The current no. owners of Newcastle have, a, have a, a standard of getting to a point to win the Premier League, but they couldn't do that 18 months in impossibility from where they took over. So again, no, no, I'm not lowering any standards. So you're, 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 you're saying you're, 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 you're now saying, gonna, saying that you have to spread your do, expectations over a long period do, of time. And, Lee, what I'm not going to do is sit on the internet and put out an expectation of, I want to win the league and surpass this city team next year or screw this manager. When we all know it's very, very unlikely. Do I think we can get to that point in the future? In the yeah, that's the difference. I actually, I actually demand a title. I've waited 19 years. But you know, and I've been you know told it's not going to happen, Lee. Lee, Lee, Lee. You know it's not going to happen. I'm not stopping to you. Let me tell you. Your manager's been there three and a half, four years. It's different from mine. I couldn't care less. Different. I don't care how long you've been here. You're being ridiculous, Lee. Ridiculous. I'm not being ridiculous, ridiculous at all, Terry. At the end of the day, the aim of elite sport, there you go, press your button. Yeah, the aim of elite sport is to win major honours, yeah? Yes. Right? Not to finish second and lord it up as a trophy. That's it. No one's right? lording it. That. No one's You're doing saying... it, Lee. Lee, but no one's no, no, I'm talking about my second. Arsenal fan, Lee, the Arsenal fan base. We're not talking up second about group. them. We're talking about you and me. I'm not yeah, doing if that. You let me finish instead of talking over me, because I'll just let you finish. You let me finish. Yeah, the fact is, you've you've said that your expectations now have to be put over a longer period of time. Why? When is it achieved? When is it? When is it allowed? Hang on. When is it allowed for you? Yeah, for you and for me to demand a title at our football clubs. When? How many more years of this crap of lowering the standards within the fan base that now you have to spread your expectations over? Fuck off! I've waited. I've spent over two hundred grand doing watching my club, mate. Yeah, Fine. and if and, all and these I people want to cry, go and do two hundred grand and come Lee, back to me. Lee, yeah? Lee, I get that. When is it acceptable for me to demand a title and it be fine? You, again, tell me. You, and for you, Lee, when? Lee, you can now. Your manager has been there. Oh, I'm allowed now. Well, I'm not, Lee, Terry, because everyone's Lee. telling me I can't. Lee, we're not. Don't forget them for a minute. We're talking. Just forget them. Ignore them. You, your manager's been there three and a half to four years. I think it's absolutely hmm. right to say that now, with this final summer, we should be challenging and I want to win the league. Man United are not in that position yet. We're getting close to it. We, what Ten Hag inherited with the owners that you've sat on this show and slagged off about how to ruin Man United, we've got yep. you've got to fix those problems. So to have expectations of like when we were peak Fergie team to now is wrong. You've got to adjust yourself. Doesn't mean you're not setting the expectations of getting back to that level. But this notion of that our manager, because uh, the, 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 after the beginning of the season this year, should have been expected to have beat this City team to a title is a madness. Because if it was, you guys would have been predicted that. Well, I think you guys can do it because that's the standard. No way did anybody think that could so happen. You can't, you can't do it because nobody else thought it. Wow. Okay. No, but nobody thought it because they know it isn't possible, Lee. Mm. So why would you have expectations? It's not possible, Terry, because why, the standards why would, why on the Why would floor. you have? No, it's nothing to do with the standards. Did you it think? It's to do with the standards. But you a minute, Lee. So you believe, so you believe, I want, please let me finish this question. So you believe at the start of the summer this year, the start of the Premier League, if every Man United fan in the world said win the league this year or you're sacked Ten Hag and had that standard, you believe we'd have won the league? If every Man United fan... Yeah, and actually sat there and stuck it on your ownership 
Yeah, instead of gassing up a hundred million quid on a fidget spinner, a left back who ain't played hardly any games all I season. The, question. the bits are in January, Weghorst in January, and actually demanded your football club do what it's supposed to be doing. Because this is this is not some tin pot club called Oldham, all due respect to Oldham fans. This is Man United, big Man United. Yeah, and everyone's just sitting. I see your fans all over the internet because they're just as mouthy as Arsenal fans. I don't care about right? them. No, you don't. Yeah. And you don't, but you know why? Because you're you and you think what you want to think. Cool. Yeah. But you should care about them because they're holding your fucking football club okay. back, Terry. So, they're so, holding your club back. So can you answer my yeah, question? Because they're happy with crap. So, again, so answer the question. So if every Man United fan would have demanded more money be spent, the debt be paid off, yeah. and be better Not signing... Debt. Just go and buy better players. Okay. Well, the debt has to be paid off to buy better players. But if we Do demand... Leave. <laughs> so if we demanded all of that in the summer, you believe we could have beat City to the title this year? Yeah, because if you then didn't go and deliver on them players and that debt being paid off, empty the fucking stadium every week. Pretty simple logic. It's such an easy concept. Yeah, because tell you what, when you weren't getting top four, yeah, all of a sudden your owner's got their cash out. They've got their checkbook out, didn't they? Suddenly you sign Ronaldo, Varane and all this lot. Yeah, to sign all these top players. Yeah, to get you back in the Champions League, Lee, which you're Lee, not going to bother winning. Lee, Lee, we were in the Champions League when we signed wow. that Wow. Yeah, oh, sorry, 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 my bad. My bad, you're in the Champions League. I, I, yeah. And this is what it is. So you honestly believe if the fans demanded more this summer, Man United would have beaten City to this title? But they would have had a better chance, that's for sure. They, would they have had a better chance, yay or nay? Uh, no. Well, there you go then. And you're I, sitting I, there going, I, I, oh, I, another I, two I, years, another I, two years, look, another two years of what? I, I, another two improvement. I just don't think from where, we, where the manager inherited the squad from, that it was plausible inside one summer to go from the worst season in 40-odd years to yeah. be in a team that's now being um, looked at as the best, if not one of the best. So that team that's being looked at as the best or one of the best ever, yeah, finished the title winning season this season on Saturday when they were crown champions. Yeah, not Sunday when they won their game. They were champions on Saturday on 85 points. What's that got to do Two with seasons it? ago, they won the league on 86 points. Right. What's that Thank you very it? much. You couldn't have got 86 points, no? You couldn't have, you couldn't have, sorry, you couldn't have, you couldn't have kept up with them this season if your fans had demanded more in the but, summer. But, but if we'd have kept, but again, but if we'd have kept up with them and, and we're at 84 points right now, they wouldn't have won the league. They'd have won their last three games and then it'd be 94 points. They, they, you're, you're, again, you're, you're moving the goalposts. I so just want to be closer then. Hence my league, point. I, I don't believe, no matter how much we demanded as fans, we could have caught City this season. That's my personal view. You think you think that having yeah, the highest standards alone is again next league. season when you finish in the top four, you might nick a cup or might not nick a cup, and then you get in the Champions League again. You don't win that, and then all of a sudden, Ten Hag's been here four years. He still hasn't competed for won a title. Yeah, but oh, but Man City, oh, they've still got Pep. And when does it end? When can when when are you when am when are you? I tell you when yeah, it ends. Lee, 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 you're missing. You, you always miss this point, and I know. I don't know what Man United fans you speak to. It blows my mind that the, the shit that some of them must speak because for me, you're missing the fundamental point. The reason why things keep getting reset at Man United is because all these, whether you want to call them rebuilds or processes or new managers, I don't really care for the buzzwords. They keep getting broke by the Glazers. They ruin them. Things fall apart and crumble, and you have to start rebuilding again. And what the Glazers have never allowed any single manager to do fully is complete a situation where you've got a squad that is full and thick of quality players like City has got, where mm -hmm. their ideology... We had a point at Man United where our manager, who had spent at the time three or 400 million pounds, was playing a completely different brand of football to our academy. Does that happen at Man City? Nope. The point is this. Until our owners allow a manager and a philosophy to be embedded at the club for a prolonged period of time. And you're not always having to undo and rip apart and rechange squads. If you don't turn around to a manager like Jose when he says, look, I know I bought two centre-backs. They're good, but I need more. And the owners say, you ain't having anybody else. That's a problem. Because but the, that reason, the reason the Glazers have never seen a project process or whatever you want through is because when you have a manager that was an elite level manager that won you a European trophy, the first ever manager to win you yeah. one in his first season, and he won a League Cup, your fans hounded him out your football club. No, so again, yeah. so again, so again, again, Lee, Lee, Lee. So this is what happened. You had some fans, by the way, that were going for him when he was winning. I, I personally wasn't. Where it all fell apart for him, and please get your information right on my club, the Glazers did him dirty, and then he threw himself under the bus. So he wanted rid of Pogba and Martial. And Pogba and Martial FC were the ones that went for Jose Mourinho, not Man United fans. We were relatively happy with him. What then happened is Jose then started doing mad stuff in press conferences, saying crazy things, 
what he and, and then even what he did to Martial in the following summer was a disgrace. The man went to, to the birth of his child and he was slagging him off for doing it. Now, no man should ever be condemned to go into the birth of his child, right? Those things went on and he had to be removed. That's when Man United fans started to lose their rag with him because it was bringing the club into disrepute. It's not a good look for our managers to be doing that to one of our... They were already booing him at the games before that, way before Martial. Yeah, they were already booing him at the games. They weren't turning up to games. There was empty seats at Old Trafford. I watched the games. Nonsense. Yeah. nonsense. That, wasn't nonsense. That, that wasn't happening in, 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 in that sort of... Uh, up until we got a new deal in the January. Man United fans were happy with it, Lee. 110%. Look, I wanted to get through some more of these super chats here.